I'm visiting the fantastic bonsai garden of David Benavente and as I look around I see every beautiful tree has one feature in common that makes them look mature, beautiful and venerable and that is they all have a majestic dome-shaped apex. In this video I'll show you a simple and effective technique to develop an apex like that. All you need is some wire, a lot of time and patience and a little bit of magic coming right up. Now before we look at this great technique, let's first just call out some bonsai styles that are not appropriate for this technique. And the first is a bonsai forest, which of course is composed of multiple trees and they all contribute to the overall shape of the apex. You don't take one tree and do some special wiring that's different from the others. And the next style I'm going to call out is the windswept style. And here we're not trying to create a majestic dome-shaped apex. Instead, we're trying to create the impression that the harsh, windy environment has battered the tree and blown it so it grows in one direction. So this technique is not appropriate for the broom style. The broom style typically fans out from the trunk and the whole of the canopy is really an apex. All of the branches are creating that effect for you. If you're growing a younger tree in a large pot or in the ground to thicken up the trunk, then your tree is clearly not ready to start developing an apex. The technique I'm going to show in just a minute is not appropriate for young trees in development. And likewise, if you've done a trunk chop and are developing a new main leader in a new direction, then that tree is probably not ready to start developing an apex. So you'd usually use this technique on an informal upright or even the top crown of a cascade and it should be a tree in its refinement stage that's to say with all the branch structure in place and now you're working towards finer ramification. With all that said let's move on to the apex technique. To explain this technique properly, we need to head over to the blackboard, and as it turns out, this one came from Hogwarts. Now here's the tree's trunk, and as you can see it's an informal upright. And this bonsai is a juniper, so I'm just going to change the bark here. And since I'm literally designing my own bonsai, I'm going to give it some nice looking nabari. And now we'll add some soil and slam it into a pot. Right, that's the groundwork done. Now let's move upwards. We'll create some well-positioned branches and for good measure, we'll add a couple of gins to keep in the spirit of a juniper. And here are some foliage pads. Not very well developed yet, but probably wired out to receive the maximum amount of sunlight. Now I need to position this so you can see the top of the tree and the future apex. And here is where it starts to get interesting because an apex is only another zone of the tree, just like a branch is. It is not like a mini tree on top of your tree. You don't select the next leader and then carry on growing that leader upwards. Although the natural tendency is that these branches are going to grow upwards. Let's take a closer look here. The apex should be structured exactly like a branch except for two differences. Obviously, a normal branch is supported from the side, whereas the apex is supported from underneath. And secondly, we almost never have two branches emerging from the same point in the trunk. But for the apex, we do. We necessarily have two or three branches coming out of the same place. Now, we haven't actually done any technique yet, so let's go right to it. We need to bend down each one of those apex branches and wire it down horizontally. And let's start with this one. And to do this, you can either use guy wiring, or you can use girl wiring. I mean spiral wiring, of course. My mistake. Remembering that each of those apex limbs is just a normal branch with secondary and tertiary branches. And now we'll deal with that bad boy that sometime in the past I might have developed to be the next leader. And in order to wire that one down, I'm gonna have to do some jiggery pokery here. And yes, you're seeing right, we bend that one down directly towards the front view. So if it were a branch, you might call it an eye poker. 
but here we're just positioning these limbs ready to form a nice dome shaped apex. Then that's it, there is no further leader on top. From here on, the only upward growth is the natural fanning out of the secondary and tertiary branches, and these are very likely to crisscross and some will grow right over the top. And that's okay, we're just trying to form a dense crown here. And now we'll let all the other pads grow out and tidy them up a bit. The principle is the main thing. If you set the bones in the right place, then the rest will follow. And like everything in bonsai, be prepared to wait a few years and in the meantime, enjoy the process. And now I'll show you this technique in real life. Now this wild olive is ready to start developing an apex and all of the top growth of course is shooting straight upwards. So I'm going to have to choose two or three of these shoots or maybe even four and wire them downwards horizontally. First just got to get rid of some of these little branches that kind of interfere. And an olive will backbud in the future when we need it to, it's not like a boxwood. Just pull that one down, pull this one down, pull this one down, and then all the rest of the growth will kind of grow over the dome like that. For the guy wires, I use the thinnest gauge copper wires that I can get hold of, and I feed them into small plastic sheaths so that the wire doesn't dig into the bark. And just for aesthetics today, I'll cut this shoot back, but don't yet know if I'll keep it. I prefer to use guy wiring on olives if possible because the bark is pretty unforgiving to wire by it and can show the mark for many years after. On junipers, spiral wiring is usually better. These branches, they're a lot longer than I really want them to be. That's a lot wider than I'd want the crown to be, but I'm just going to let them grow out, which will help set and lignify this wood here in this position. So we let them grow out for a while in the new position so that they set in that position. Probably come back to this next summer and we'll see how it's grown. Probably quite a nice big dome crown here and these would have grown a long way out. It doesn't matter if they come across the top. That's part of the uh, dome shape that's going to happen. Now this one just needs to be pulled down a bit so it's a little bit more horizontal. There. So now you know the simplest and very effective way to get your apex started. But there's another important characteristic of a mature tree that some bonsai lack, and that is trunk taper. If your apex is growing on top of a straight and taperless trunk, it can negate all that effort you put into developing the apex. So to make sure your tree trunk is ready, watch this video to learn a bonsai hack that will quickly improve the trunk taper and perfect the final image of your tree.